this is a help video on how to read graduated cylinders. And so this is the um, handout that is on Canvas. Um, so let's just look at this first one. And so the main thing with reading a graduated cylinder is identifying the scale. And what that means is what are those littlest lines counting by? And so this one, how I also can describe it is the bottom is always zero milliliters. And this tells us how much volume the liquid holds. This particular one only holds five milliliters. So your answer will never be above five for this graduated cylinder. So between zero and one, halfway between zero and one would be 0 0.5. And so this would be 1.5. This would be 2.5. This would be 3.5. This would be 4.5. And so if from the very bottom to this 0 0.5, we need to figure out, well, what are these smallest lines counting by? So if they're counting by 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, that would be correct. And so this particular one, the scale is 0 0.1 milliliters. So to find our answer, we go 1, 2, 3, 3.1, 3.2, Now some students look at this and they think it's 33. If you're counting by ones and then they just kind of say, well, it's like, I guess 30, 31, 32, 33. But it, you could not have an answer like 33 because this only holds five. So check your answers and see if it actually makes sense. Because if, if it can't fit in that one, then you know that you need to change the way you're looking at this graduated cylinder. This next one has a different scale. So if you notice, this one over here is 1, 2, 3, 4. This one's 10, 20, 30, 40. And so I've had some students turn this in with the answer 40.5. Because, well, like this one in between would be 0.5. And so they think, well, it's 40.5. But this one is not a scale of 0 0.1. It's a scale of 1. Again, how you can look at this is if the bottom is 0 and this top is 10, halfway between 0 and 10 would be uh, 5. And so from 0 to 5, if we count by 1s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that makes sense. So we've identified that our scale is 1 milliliter. So the smallest line is 1. And so we go all the way up here. So we're at 10, 20, 30. So it's above 40. We're not at 50 yet, so it's 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45 milliliters is our answer for number two. Okay, this next one, um, a lot of students just look at it and they say, okay, well, I know that it's not, um, they're not counting by ones, but they think, well, maybe they're just counting by point one. So they say six, 6.1, 6.2, 6.3, 6.4, 6 and they say it's 6.4 milliliters. That would not be correct, and here is why. So on this one, you can compare it to this first one, and the numbers on our graduated cell are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here, it's not 1, it's 2, 4, 6, 8. And so if we try to fill in how graduated cylinders work is there's not enough lines on this graduated cylinder to put, there's not enough space to put every number. And so what they do is they only put some of the numbers, and you have to fill in the blanks. So if this is 0 and this is 2, halfway between that would be 1. Between 2 and 4 would be 3. Between, And I'm talking about these middle lines that are a little bit longer than the other ones. So this would be 5. And then this would be 7. And this would be 9. OK, so between 0 and this 1 now, if we do by point 0.1, so 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, we're not looking at 0 0.5. We're looking at 1. So if we try to do by 2, so 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0.8, 1. 1 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, 2. 2.1, 2.2, 2.4, 2.6, 2 2.3. That tells us that our scale is 0 0.2 milliliters. So go back to where our liquid is, the shaded part, 6, 6.2, 6 6.4, 6 6.6, 6 6.8. And that makes sense. Now I'll do one more example for you guys. Uh, this one, I have some students that look at this and they say, well, it's just one line below 20, so it must be 19, but it's not 19. So same thing as the other ones, figure out what our scale is. So here for, between 0 and 20 would be 10. And we have five lines between 0 and 10. So if we count by ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's not the right scale for this graduated cylinder. And so if we try by twos, 
two, four, six, eight, ten. That is the correct scale. So you can go up to the number ten, and the next line up would be twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. This graduated cylinder holds eighteen milliliters of liquid. So I would encourage you students to use this top part, see if this, what I've explained to you, helps you, try to do the bottom, and then if you want me to check your answers, send me an email or message and I can do that for you.